complicated. <laughs> Scary. Functional. Very comfortable. Or comfortable. Temperament. If you're accustomed to being alone, then you need to adjust to an, being with someone else and tolerating someone else. A good idea. Community, I mean, it seems so cliched, but we wanted a home full of people. Sharing. I think lonesome. The pandemic and all the restrictions that go with it have made me think that I'd like somebody around a little more. Need. Um, the community needed it. Money. I just needed extra income. I feel like my answer should be more profound, but like I just looked at the bank account and I knew I needed more money every month. It helps one pay a mortgage. It helps you keep up with your property taxes and your maintenance. The circle of friends that I have, everybody's sharing their home for one reason or another. It's becoming more common and, and I don't really get much reaction. I guess a lot of people are surprised or ask why. I mean, an attitude is that it's for young, struggling people. My parents think it's weird, you know, um, <laughs> talking to somebody very possession-oriented. I spend a lot of time kind of allaying fears of like, well, do you lock your doors? You know, it's the exact opposite. Uh, the best security I've always found is occupancy. I have a feeling people are more open to sharing now than they were. I think when things were going pretty smoothly, we were pretty self-centered. We don't really think about expanding our homes, our privacy. In a conventional setting, you get married and you have children and you don't necessarily share a home, but then you get divorced and you have extra room in your house. And there's all these different paradigms now. Community meals. <laughs> I really love the smell of coffee in the morning. I don't drink coffee, but I love the smell. That many skill sets in the house makes everything better. I don't have to fix everything. We have other people who can help. <laughs> it will probably keep me from uh, becoming depressed and not changing anything that I'm doing. I think any change is useful. You learn something. I'm getting close to 50, we've got a young son. We get a chance to kind of uh, like, like keep our head in, in spaces we would otherwise miss out in. Consequently, I have relationships with a dozen people in town that I wouldn't know otherwise. We have pretty dramatic wealth inequality and it's harder and harder for hardworking people to get by. I wish more people would consider uh, sharing their home as a result perhaps becoming more aware of how many people there really are out there who need a roommate or want a place. There's opportunity for the intergenerational and also peer-to-peer -peer experiences. In my future, these, these people will have my back. Like I have their back, they'll have my back later. That feels good to me. This isn't for everybody, but I think it's it would be valuable to enough people to make a significant impact. It is gonna be one of the fastest ways that we can secure our community. We, we can rent out rooms faster than we can build new houses. The exercise of sharing my home has made me a more flexible person. Um, I'm able to handle more complexity. And I think I'm truly able to consider the, the light and the life in another human being in a different way.